Hello everyone and welcome back to Fixing Tiny Tedious Things. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reduce the file usage inside cPanel. Here you can see the statistics in the right sidebar, file usage, physical memory and other stuff. And if you take a look at file usage, it is at 20% at the moment but prior to this it was at 100% and I was unable to update my website and plugins. So in order for me to update the website, this is the website and its plugins, I had to bring down the percentage from 100 to optimum level. So what I did, I went into disk usage. If you see files and inside files, there's this option disk usage, just click on it. You will see the folders that are taking up all the space. So here you can see the list. Now the first one here which is taking a lot of space is application backups. So I deleted some of the backups, you can also do the same, right click, open in new tab and you will see the kind of backups you have here. Just get rid of the backups that you don't need and then see the other options. In my case my email archives were taking all the place so I went ahead and deleted all the email messages that I had. Because I had email from cPanel, so that was the concern. I did not check the emails from a long time, so over time piled up and this space was being used. So I got rid of all the emails that I did not require. And now you can see the levels of my cPanel file usage. They are down to 20% and I'm very happy. I'm able to update my plugins, update my website and do basically everything that I needed. So here you can see everything is in green which means my website is working fine, there is no issue. I am using GoDaddy's ultimate hosting plan. I called GoDaddy as well but they were unable to help me so I figured out this solution. If you are also facing this issue just follow along and get rid of the files that you don't need. Make sure you do keep some backups in adverse times, your backups can restore to a point where your website was working if anything goes wrong with the website so it's important that you keep the backups and get rid of the files that are not required so this is what i wanted to share in this video if you have any questions about cpanel or uh, if you want to optimize your own website and want to make sure that everything is inside the optimum level just let me know i'll create another video for now this is for file usage so do use it and let me know if you have any questions about it and if you're looking for a web host that gives you a good hosting experience and is not expensive I'll suggest you to go with Hostinger I am using Hostinger for my several websites and never had any issue uh, the best part is with them you also get a .com domain name for free so that would be good for you you also get SSL certificate and CDN the link will be in the description box and in the first pinned comment. If you buy from there, I'll be getting some share. This will help me make more videos. Let me know if you have any questions. Please subscribe. Thanks.